Thank you for watching. This site is intended to present and promote a new method of propulsion that permits spacecraft in microgravity environment to accelerate for extended periods of time. The solar system is our neighborhood at our planet's doorstep, yet the distances we have to travel to explore it are intimidating. Using our best technology, we can travel to the moon in three days. Mars is a very long 300 days when the conditions are satisfactory. Jupiter, we are talking six years when the conditions are adequate. This is because almost all of our available propellant is used to allow the spacecraft to escape Earth's gravity. Therefore, our spacecrafts take so much time to travel because they coast to destination, starting their voyage with a tremendous kick, but little additional propellant available for future acceleration. Here we have a typical spacecraft that has been propelled to explore the solar system with a present velocity of 15.5 kilometers per second. Even though it is tra traveling at a very high speed, it will take months or years to arrive at its destination. The spacecraft cannot increment its velocity without expelling mass, and no matter how efficient its onboard engine is, its use is limited by the amount of mass it can afford to carry for use as propellant. I present a simple method for acceleration of the spacecraft without expelling mass. First we attach a pressurized structure, a aluminium cylinder approximately 10 meters long with a diameter of 3 meters to the spacecraft. The structure contains air at normal atmospheric pressure. Inside the pressurized structure we have a motorized mast assembly that consists of an electric motor connected to a pair of variable pitch counter-rotating propellers so that the airflow direction can be quickly reversed. Here we have details of the motor assembly showing the variable pitch counter-rotating propeller assembly. The propellers are counter-rotating for stability. We start the motor so that it blows air in the backward or minus x direction. The motor assembly does not move in the plus x direction because it is resting against the wall of the airtight structure or spacecraft. We can see that no matter how powerful the motor may be or how much air it can blow, the airtight structure will not move in any direction. If we reverse the motor's rotational direction so that the air is blown in the plus x direction, with the motor assembly still attached to the pressurized structure, no directional forces are generated on the spacecraft. If we detach the motor assembly from the pressurized structure, with the propellers blowing air in the plus x direction, it will propel itself in the minus x direction, gaining velocity and kinetic energy. The burst of air blown by the motor assembly in the plus x direction colliding with the pressurized structure's forward hull may give the airtight structure a slight push in the plus x direction, but most of the push is lost as the air flows inside the airtight structure and whatever 
force in the plus x direction is created, it becomes less effective as the motor assembly distances itself from the plus x hull. The motor assembly continues to travel in the minus x direction, gaining velocity and momentum without having a noticeable change in the pressurized structure's relative velocity. At a pre-programmed position, the propeller pitch is returned to its original position, generating wind in the minus x direction, at first slowing the fan assembly until it stops relative to the velocity of the pressurized spacecraft structure. After stopping momentarily relative to the pressurized structure that is traveling at 15.5 meters per second, it begins accelerating in the plus x direction. As the motor assembly continues to travel in the plus x or forward direction, it gains velocity and momentum. The motor assembly continues gaining relative velocity in the plus x direction, reaching the desired velocity, let's say 1 meter per second, just before colli collision with the forward or x1 direction of the spacecraft. The moment the 100 kilo mass traveling at a relative velocity of 1 meter per second collides with the forward hull, it will transfer its momentum to the spacecraft, giving it a forward nudge incremental to the spacecraft's velocity. The spacecraft maintains its change in velocity even as the propeller pitch is changed, generating wind in that plus x direction, accelerating the motor assembly in the minus x direction, gaining velocity and kinetic energy. We then repeat the cycle bumping the spacecraft forward as many times a minute as possible. Thank you very much for watching. If you have watched this far, you are a very patient person. Watching this video myself helps me understand why I've had such difficulty convincing some people that this thing works but it does work, and we can prove it experimentally. Thank you very much. Good night.